anyone here? We're not open yet, sir. May I ask who you are? I must also point out that this club is members only. Oh, uh, you know a Hushki from the ADDC? He told us to stop by. Hoshki, son. Sorry, I've never heard of him. All recommendations must come from a current member. You know Hoshki san's dead, right? He got beaten to death six months ago, right after leaving your club. Who are you? You're clearly not cops. We're private investigators. Yagami Detective Agency. We want to know what happened that night. You think I'm a goddamn elephant, man? I can't remember something from that long ago. We don't need you to tell us. You have girls working here, yeah? If possible, I'd like to talk to the girl who sat with Hashkisan. Get out of my face. I have no obligation to help you. How about this? I'll talk to you once you're a member. If you can get a recommendation, that is. Let me say, though, our rates aren't exactly what I would call cheap. I don't have time to go hunt on a recommendation. Then get out of my face. Hold on. You guys are recruiting? And? Think this girl fits the bill? Pretty damn fine, huh? Hmm. Well, she's not bad, I guess. Not bad? You, my friend, have impossibly high standards. Look, we only go for the hottest chicks. That's how we rake in the big bucks. But there's more to being hot than just looks. You gotta have something extra. Some charm, you know? What the hell are you doing, Kaito-san? Mafuyu's gonna be pissed. If you can think of a better way, be my guest. All Mafuyu's gotta do is get hired and find out what Shono and Hoshki were talking about. Don't be an idiot. We can't ask her to do that. Hmm. In that case, how about her? <laughs> Sorry, son. She wouldn't stand more of a chance than Mafuyu did. Who else do we got? Whoa, whoa, who's that? Now there's a girl I want to see. Huh? That photo's not doing her any favors, but polish her up and she'll shine like a diamond. Trust me, boys. See what I mean? Even Hoshino-kun's got the hots for her. Seriously? You run this club, yeah? That's right. Please bring that friend of yours over here. I want to see her for myself. Hell, I'll hire her on the spot. I think we can manage that. Come on, Taki. Uh, I'll be waiting! Well, looks like we're sending salary sign in there. It's the quickest way. Easier said than done. How are we even gonna get her on board? I don't know. She likes dessert, right? Just give her something sweet and call it a day. You think she'd really go for that? I bring sweets to the office all the time. Sounds to me like you're gonna need the Kaito of desserts. A dessert to crush all other desserts. Oh, yeah? What'd you have in mind? Do I look like a dessert menu? This is all you, buddy. It was your idea, jackass.
How's it going, Yagamishi? There's something I need help finding. <laughs> what is it this time? I need the king of desserts. Something that a sweet tooth hound would do anything to get. <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. You think a modern woman's gonna fall for that one? Oh yeah, guys still do it and girls still eat it up. Really? Dating sounds pretty stupid. But anyway, I'm up for a search. Hit me with some keywords. Hmm. Uh, let's try sweets and limited. Let's give it a shot. I'm sharing my screen with you now. Uh, hundreds of hits too many. Can't do a lot with results like that. <sighs> so much for limited. Let's try adding another word to narrow it down, Yagamishi. Not well enough. Your girl especially into red beans? Nah, she's not too picky. Uh, how about we try something else then? <laughs> Incredible! You narrowed it down to one result! Really? Nice! Yagamishi. Oh, uh, this one isn't gonna work. Let's try a different word. Nope, barely made a dent. Guess the whole country's dying for matcha. It's the only damn flavor anyone makes. What? Well, looks like that's out of the question. Let's uh, try something else. Yeah, that one brought it down a lot. <laughs> oh, smart, smart. I've never thought to go by the shop and not the snack. I mean, she can't have had a dessert from a store that just opened. <laughs> That's my Yagamishi. Should be easy to keep going from here. Yeah, let's toss Kamurocho into the mix. That did it. Mm, what do we have here? Famous Kyoto sweet shop Takemitsu's Kamurocho branch now open on Shichifuku Street. Perfect. I'll head over there now. You know those are limited quantity, right? I don't know if you can still get them this time of day. Guess I should get moving then. <laughs> I don't know who you're going through all this trouble for, but she's a lucky girl. Good luck, Yagamishi. Gotta run, Sukumo. Thanks again. <laughs> I'll be rooting for you. And stay down. Some kind of famous sweet shop, huh? No line, though. Guess they're sold out. Some kind of famous sweet shop, huh? No line, though. Guess they're sold out.
Man, only one per person? Huh. Guess I can't complain. At least I got one. Look, pal. I don't care how long you've been running in Kyoto. If you want to open a shop in this town, you gotta follow the rules. I, I told you. I already submitted all my documents. We don't give a shit about your documents! This is about knowing your place! Uh, uh, you don't mean, uh, uh, protection money? <laughs> protection? I don't know what you're talking about. We just want to make sure you're following the rules. Excuse me. Mind if I squeeze past you fellas? Then who the hell are you, huh? Sorry, buddy, but you're gonna have to come back later. We're in the middle of something. I'm looking for one of your special mochi, sir. It, uh, uh, um, well, uh, uh... This ain't a joke, asshole! We're talking here! You better beat it before this gets ugly. If anyone needs to beat it, it's you. Oh, yeah? Somebody might see you shaking this poor guy down and call the cops. Heck, I'll do it myself. You think you're safe because you're a civilian, huh? We'll think again. Come on! Let's wreck this shithead! Show these Kyoto fucks how things work around here! now and I won't call the cops. Now go. Damn it. Hey, thank you so much, sir. Oh, that? That was nothing. As I was saying, I'm looking for one of your special mochi. Uh, my apologies, sir. We're all sold out for today. Sold out? Oh, damn it. I should have come sooner. Uh, oh, oh, wait, sir. I think I have one. Huh? We keep a few separate from our regular sales batch, you know, for TV interviews and like. There still should be some of those left. Wow. You guys are the real deal. Think I could buy one? You can have one for free after what you did today. I, I, I insist. Really? Well, I guess if you don't mind. Well, I, I should be going. Thank you again, sir. guys. Hmm? Genda-sensei, how do you feel? Fine. I guess. 
Just got back in the office. Oh, sorry, son. I got you this. Yagami. Sorry, do you mind if I talk to Sari-san real quick? This comes first. We've got business. Huh? Take a seat. You're not talking your way out of this one, Yagami. Hoshino-kun told me everything. Everything about... All this shit with Shintani. I told you to back off, but you went and dug even deeper. Now you've got Hoshino-kun wrapped up in this. Shintani was practically a son to me. Sure, I told you that before. Knowing he's gone, I can barely get up in the morning. My appetite's gone too, and I'm just forcing down food. What am I going to do if I lose you and Hoshino-kun, too? Something came to me when I was in bed, thinking about this. If things keep going down this path, is it even wise to keep this office up and running? That's not how I want to think about it, though. Huh? One of my own gets murdered, and I respond by lying in bed whimpering about it? <laughs> Not happening. If you don't have the will to fight, you're never gonna last in this town. Every single person in Kamurocho is pursuing a dream, trying to claw their way forward, bit by bit. If you don't want to get your ass chewed up and spat out, you gotta keep fighting, even if you have to fake it. If I can't fight after what happened to Shintani, I might as well just close up shop. Yagami, you're serious about this, aren't you? You really want to avenge Shintani? Yes. Good. In that case, Hoshino-kun is at your disposal. I'll eat the cost till this murder is solved. We're gonna find Shintani's killer, no matter what. And until we do, I'll pitch in however I can. You just say the word. Thank you, Genda-sensei. One condition, though. No more victims. After everything that's already happened, I can't afford to lose anyone else. We'll be careful. As for the next step in our investigation, uh, I'm gonna need a little help from Sari-san. Saurikun? Hmm? Good, aren't they? By the way, <clears throat> there's something I need to ask you. Absolutely not. Oh, come on, Sari-san. You ate all that mochi, didn't you? Those were a trap. I don't approve of such trickery. Come on. Could be fun being a hostess for a day. So what that club owner sees in you is beyond me, that's for sure. <clears throat> It'll be fine, Sari-san. We're not asking you to be their number one girl. No. If we got you a new dress, you'd look the part. It'll be one of those extreme makeovers. No. What about that mochi? I'll get you some more if you do it. No. I don't think she's gonna budge, Yagami. Guess not. I don't even know if the manager was that serious anyway. What do you mean, not that serious? What do you see when you look at Saori-san, huh? No, it's not that. She's just clearly not into the idea. But why would she be with the way you're approaching it? Talking about how she doesn't have to be the number one girl or giving her a makeover. If you'd look a little closer, maybe you'd understand. Saori-san could be the best hostess in this whole damn town if she wanted to. Isn't that right, Saori-san? If you really believe that, I guess I could give it a try. Wait, huh? what? I'll do it. I'll be Kamurocho's number one hostess. That's what I'm talking about! 
Okay, uh, you can pick out a dress, Yagami-san. And she'll need a haircut and makeup, too. You don't mind shelling out for this, do you? Hmm? No, it's fine, but I have to pick the dress? Don't worry. There's a shop around here that caters exclusively to hostesses looking for outfits. You can't go wrong at a place like that. But how's she going to be the best if she goes to the same store as all the other girls? The primary goal here is finding out what Hoshki and Shona were talking about, right? Yeah. Then stop complaining. Becoming the best will just happen naturally. Let's go, Yagami-san. We have a dress to buy. See? I knew you had it in you. Huh. That worked out just fine. Yeah. But I'm kind of afraid of what'll happen if things don't go well at the club. I'm sure it'll go great. Knowing sorry, son, how could it not? Yagami-san. The go-to place for Saori-san's dress is La Marche, over on Showa Street. That's where all the hostesses in Kamurocho buy their clothes. And why do you know that exactly? A, a good number of our clients happen to be cabaret girls. <clears throat> uh, anyway, send me a picture of Saori-san once you've picked a dress out. I'll recommend a good stylist based on what you go with. It feels like this really ought to be you doing this. I'm ready, Yagami-san. Yep, let's do it. We should start with the dress. Must we? Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to La Marche. Hey, we're looking for a dress. Specifically one for a club called Queen Rouge. Any recommendations? But of course, sir. Now then, our dresses are right this way. Thank you. 
How's it going in there, sorry son? Almost done? Hold on a second. I don't usually dress like this. You know, it almost feels like we're on a date. Mafia won't be happy about that. Sorry, son. You've known Mafuyu since you were a kid, right? Yes, we were close in our early teens. But then we grew distant and didn't reconnect until law school. Right, I remember now. Mafuyu's family was wealthy, so she knew how to socialize. Whereas I preferred to keep to myself. My classmates often bullied me. But whenever anything got too bad, Mafia was always there to protect me. Even then, she wanted to be a prosecutor. She didn't know it at the time, but I really respected her. Is that why you decided to go into law? Yes. At first, I wanted to be a prosecutor too. But ultimately, protecting the weak fits my personality better than punishing evil. Sorry, Yagami-san. I'm not normally this talkative. Everyone has a story to tell. Speaking of which, Mafiu looked up to someone too. Hmm? When she was just a young girl, she and her mother were victims of a hit and run. Yeah, she told me about that. Her mother threw herself in front of Mafiu, but ended up unstable and unconscious for a while afterward. Yes. They ultimately caught the culprit, but Mafiu's mother was still comatose at the time of the trial. With how young Mafiu was at the time, it was difficult for her to explain to the police what happened. But the prosecutor was very patient, investigating every last detail of how the accident happened. Wow. He fought for justice in place of a victim who couldn't fight for herself. In fact, that may have been Mafiu's first love. Huh? The prosecutor? He's Mafia's boss now. Mori Tassan. Huh? That's pretty crazy. Never expected she'd be into older men. Do you remember when I first introduced you to Yagami-san? We were all drinking together at Tender. That was the day Mori Tassan had married another woman. So, I wanted Mafia to meet someone better. That's why I invited you. Huh, now that you mention it, she did seem kind of down that night. <laughs> Does it surprise you? Actually, I think I'm falling for you now, sorry, son. Wait, what? Uh, where is this coming from? Uh, if this is a joke, Yagami-san, you have terrible comedic timing. <laughs> Come on, I'm just messing with you. What an ass. Anyway, I'm done changing. Hmm? Huh. Not bad. You think? Oh, hold on. Let me get a picture. Huh? Uploading photos without an individual's permission is... Sorry. Hoshino-kun asked me to do it. Said he wants to figure out the best makeup for your dress. Huh. And speak of the devil. It's me, Hoshino. You're a natural at this, Yagami-san. Sari-san is as beautiful as ever. Man, this is incredible. I should have tagged along after all. <clears throat> so, which salon should we go to? Oh, uh, right. There's a place called Cherry, also on Showa Street. They do top-notch work. It's not far, either. Got it, thanks.